welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a beach tumbler. It is almost summertime, which is beach, which is warm weather, which is cuteness. So yeah, it's time for beach tumbler and I have the perfect vinyl that I'm going to use. Yes, we're going to be using vinyl again. I told y'all I'm going to be turning into a vinyl girl this year because I have so much I have so much vinyl, it's not even funny. But the vinyl that I'll be using is of course from my cut maker crutch, Susanna Renaud. If you have not gone to her website, why? Why? Do better fam, do better. And I need you to go do it, okay? Do it. <laughs> but she has this vinyl that I got, it was actually a while ago and I have been itching to use it for a beach tumbler, y'all. Does this not scream ocean, seashells, mermaid, just all things beach? And the colors, the colors. Can we talk about the colors? Can we talk about the colors? Look at the colors. Look how bright and vibrant this vinyl is. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> I absolutely love this vinyl so yes we're gonna be doing a beach tumbler using this vinyl and for my base colors i'm gonna be using colors right from the vinyl in fact i've already spray painted my tumblers i'm gonna grab one let me go grab one. Oh, 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 oh. here we go so i went with purple pink yellow and a seafoam green i'll be sure to have all the paint colors the brands and the paint color that i use in the description box down below i'll also have it down here somewhere somewhere about but yes so this is my base color Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna be playing in some glitter today, you guys. I'm not sure how many glitter colors I'm going to use. I'm gonna try to keep it to a minimum. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I will try. I will do my darndest not to do more than 10. Can't promise you more than that. <laughs> All right, y'all, without further ado, let's do it. Okay, so I actually end up using 11 glitters, but you can totally do without some of the ones I use. Scouts Honor, unless unless you want to. And in that case, do it. <laughs> Let cure, seal with a coat of Krylon Triple Thick, then we'll be ready for the next step. If you want to keep your glitter colors to a minimum, feel free to skip this step, but this is one way I like to add some depth and more sparkle at the same time. And that's with adding a matching chunkier glitter color to the finer glitters that we added as a base. So if you really want to give your tumbler a seamless blend, especially if you couldn't get a good ombre or blend with your base colors, this is a good trick to do. When I first started making glitter tumblers and my ombre wasn't really <laughs> ombre I would do this to camouflage the fact that my ombre wasn't as smooth as I would have liked. Not only will this effect give you a seamless blend, but it will also give you a type of 3D look with the glitters because you're not fully covering the glitters underneath. You're just adding to them with the chunkier glitters on top. So you can still see those finer glitter colors. So it really adds some depth to your piece.
that cure, then we'll be ready for our next coat. I've already added a coat of epoxy to my tumbler and now I'm popping the bubbles, but for this layer, I'm going to add some alcohol inks to really make my tumbler bright and vibrant and to add some more depth. I like to do this with all of my glitter tumblers like this, well, mostly my beach tumblers, because I really wanna make those colors just seamlessly blend into one another. If you don't have any inks, you can, you can really skip this step and it'll still be beautiful. When you add your inks, add them to your finger first when you do your tumbler and then put them on, but okay. I do that just so you can control how much ink gets on your tumbler. I got lazy, y'all, as you can see. I just started to plop the colors on. The purple, blue, and turquoise, it, it was fine because they're a little bit more translucent, but when I got to that yellow, y'all, y'all, it was way too much. It was way too much and I had to scrape some off. So be careful and don't be like me, fam. Just, just kind of put some on your finger and add it to your tumbler. layer cure, then we'll be ready to add some beach waves. Give my waves a more organic look. I'm gonna be taking the plastic straw and blowing the epoxy downward. I am so sorry that you can't really see it. I didn't realize how much my head and hand <laughs> would be in the way, but I just take the straw and I aim it at the top of the waves and blow them down towards the bottom of the tumbler. Now, you may be wondering, um, girl, when are you gonna start adding that vinyl? Now, fam, now, now that our tumbler is all cured, we'll be ready to add our gorgeous seashell vinyl. Now, it may be seashells, but man, is it giving me some mermaid scale vibes. So I decided to cut the vinyl that way. I cut the vinyl so it's as tall as the tumbler and half as wide. Then I took my X-Acto knife and cut along the shells or the scales, whatever you're seeing, and I decorated the whole cup. It's like the whole cup has been decorated because I didn't know how much of the vinyl I would cut out. So I wanted to be sure to have full coverage around the tumbler.
I wanted to add some pizzazz to the edges of the vinyl, so I grabbed some Southern Belle glitter foil glue and some foil and decorated the edges just to add a little, you know, a little extra extra because, you know, why not? I decided to add a type of vignette on the beach side with some palm leaves using foil water slide. I'll be sure to post a link to a tutorial showing how I make foil water slides in the description box down below. I let my water slide dry for about an hour and then I sealed this layer with a coat of epoxy and this is where the 11th glitter came into the game because I need I needed more sparkle because it's, it's me fam. I tried, I, I really, <laughs> I really did. I'm not sure if Empress is still available on the PDB website. If not, you can use any type of opal glitter you have on hand. Here, then we'll be ready to add a decal. I chose a decal from one of the very first tumblers I have ever made. I always thought the saying was pretty and it totally fits with this design. The text has some intricate parts, okay? But the weeding wasn't bad. Just make sure you don't make your decal too small. The smaller you make it, the harder it will be to weed. I would make this decal no smaller than five inches high. I made mine around five and a half inches high on this 32 ounce plump.
For the bottom, I used some UV resin along with Empress, cut a circle out of some of the leftover seashell slash mermaid vinyl, added my signature, and that's pretty much it. Seal until smooth and then you'll be all done. Y'all, seriously, look how bright and colorful this tumbler is and the vinyl. The vinyl really makes this tumbler pop and gives it such a unique look. Please go support my girl Susanna Renaud over at Glamour Tribe Vinyls. She has new patterns and designs pretty much every week. And don't forget to use my code VMD10 to save you some coins. That's it guys! Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. A huge thank you to all of my mentorship and channel members. Your support is literally all the things. I would not be able to do what I do without you. Have fun making your seashell beach tumblers and I'll see you again next time.